Hello YouTubers. Today we are going to take a look at the Honeywell Elmo FP8C Dual 8 Projector. And uh, here's a copy of the owner's manual. Uh, this projector was released right around 1968 or so. Um, and because it is a Dual 8 Projector, it will show uh, Regular 8 and Super 8. And that is the nice feature of this projector is the fact that you can watch both formats. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is uh, turn the projector on. And uh, this is the switch that allows you to do that. And if you go all the way up, uh, it will turn the projector on here. Okay. All right, now I, uh, what I need to do now is I need to change the format over from Super 8 to Standard 8. And how you do that is you open this little door here and inside here you'll see the uh, sprockets. And uh, the sprocket up here at the top is pushed in for Super 8. So in order to show a Standard 8 or a regular 8 movie you have to open up these sprocket guides here, top and bottom. okay. And then what you have to do is you have to push this lower sprocket in to show standard eight. Now, one thing that people uh, don't do with this projector, and they should, is there is a rotating knob here on the outside of the projector. And as you're turning, as you're switching the, the sprockets over, you're supposed to turn this ever so gently counter counterclockwise as you push that in, okay? Now, the lower sprocket is now pushed in for standard eight and then you push in the sprocket guides here, top and bottom, okay? And then you can turn the projector back on and it's ready to go. Okay, now uh, I'm going to leave the door open so you're able to see how the innards work. Now, when you show a movie, okay, there you, there you can see the bulb is on. Before you uh, put the film into the projector, you have to push this green button down and what that does is that sets up the feed for showing a movie okay now this is just an old film that I don't use and there's no leader tape on this you really want to use leader tape uh, when you're using a projector uh, if you have a problem with the projector and I have not had a problem with this projector it's never eaten a film uh, but leader is good in case you do run into a problem okay so what we're gonna do here now is we're gonna feed the film into the sprockets and you can see this little red arrow here shows you where to feed the film through okay and I'll leave this open so you can see it feed the film okay and then it will come up to the take up reel okay now sometimes my projector will not kick the now there it did okay what I was gonna say was sometimes my projector does not kick on the bulb and if that is the case what you can do is flick this little lever here inside okay so once, uh, once that's up and running, then you can close the door, okay? Now I am shooting this outside, so I'm not gonna show any of the footage that's on this. Um, I think most people understand what a projected image will look like, uh, but normally you would show this on a large screen. Um, and the focusing knob here for the projector is here, so you would focus that in or out to look at the image to see if it's clear or not. Okay, so I'll let this run here for a few seconds. This is also a variable speed projector, uh, and it has a speed dial here where you can turn the speed of the projector up. That's all the way. Or you can turn the speed of the projector all the way down to its lowest setting, which is here. Okay. It's also a slow motion projector, and there's a red dial here in the front. You would flip that forward and that would show you slow motion. Flip it down for regular projection. It's a really nice running projector. Um, now, one thing with these projectors is uh, the lens that normally comes with this projector uh, sometimes has fogging issues. And I don't have the lens here handy to show you. I uh, will see if I can find it maybe in the uh, owner's manual here. Yes, I have found it actually in the owner's manual. If you look here, you'll see the 
original pro projection lens here. What happens with them over time is they fog and it will affect your projected image, especially when you zoom the lens out, um, the image will appear to be fogged over. So what I was able to do was I had an old uh, Bullex 18.5 uh, standard eight projector that had a um, Bullex lens on it. So I was able to, and this is the lens here, it's a little beat up here and there, um, but I was able to slide it into the lens holder and uh, the image that it projects is absolutely beautiful. Um, the Hi-Fi Bullex lens is known for uh, its very sharp contrast uh, images. So it really has, because I was able to use the Bullex lens, um, I, I'm able to project uh, some really nice clear images. In fact, it's actually probably the best projected images I've seen and I have several projectors with zoom lenses and uh, they do not compare anything to the, the Hi-Fi Bullex um, 1.3 projector lens. Okay, so you can also do rear projection and how you do that is there's a little button here that you push down and you turn the white part of the, the, the dial backwards and it will run the image uh, projected backwards. Now you can also show still uh, images when you're projecting and how you do that is, is you turn it counterclockwise one on the dial to still. And I'll open the door up one more time so you can look inside. Now this projector came uh, standard with two different projector bulbs. This one happens to have the more desirable uh, EJM uh, halogen projector bulb, which is uh, something you can find uh, for a good price online. Uh, the the other the other lens is the is the the fatter lens um, that uses um, the base is on the bottom of the projector of the lens itself, and uh, they're quite expensive. So if you find one of these Elmos. Uh, try to get one that uses the EJM lens. Uh, the other thing that this projector has on it is, and most projectors do, um, is the film cutting splicer here. Uh, it's a good idea to always splice the end of your film before you put it in the projector so it will feed through properly. Uh, so that, that is important to be able to do that. Uh, with this uh, particular projector, um, when I bought it off of uh, eBay, it, uh, it had some issues, but nothing major. Uh, both belts, the drive belt and the belt that drives the, the spindles was pretty well shot. Um, they weren't broken, but they were stretched. So I ordered a set of new belts online and uh, I installed them myself, watched a couple of videos online on how to do that. And it's quite simple. Um, and also while I was in there, um, I also lubricated the engine, the, the motor in this projector. There are two uh, oiling tubes inside this projector. And, uh, when, and I also lubricated all the running gears as well. Um, and after I did uh, those three things, uh, this projector runs very, very smooth and very, very quiet. Uh, it was sort of loud before I did any sort of maintenance and uh, no doubt it was probably because the uh, the bearings in the motor were probably pretty dry. Uh, it, as I said, I lubricated this projector. Uh, in, in the owner's manual, it does tell you uh, some of the maintenance items and things that you should do. And one of the things it does uh, recommend, of course, is adding uh, lubrication to the motor. And it tells you how to do that. Okay, well, we are at the end of that reel. So... I'm going to go ahead and stop the projector. Now to rewind, all you simply do is uh, take the end of the film back to the uh, reel, the movie reel itself. And this one has a little tab that you can put the film in. 
and then I just give it a couple spins. And then to rewind this, you uh, just like we did when we did reverse play, is you push the button in and reverse it and run. Now, depending on how long your uh, reel, reel of film is, it will take uh, a little bit of time to rewind. A few moments, a few minutes anyways. Um, I believe this reel was only a 200 foot reel. Um, now, generally when I'm showing home movies, um, my reels are usually about 400 feet. Now, as of 2017, you can still buy film for uh, movie cameras. In fact, uh, Kodak just announced here in 2017 that they will be offering Ektachrome movie film once again uh, in the Super 8 format. So once that does happen, I plan on shooting some more home movies of my family and, uh, and watching them on the projector. Now the cool thing about this projector is you don't have to worry about a spindle adapter. Um, when you show a movie, uh, you can use, now this, this is a standard 8 film reel, so it has just a regular size opening, a smaller opening. But when you show a Super 8 movie, um, it will be a larger center. This center will be larger. So what happens is when you place the reel on there, um, This will close up and then it'll allow you to uh, put the uh, film on. So it's a, it's a nice feature to have. Okay, well, uh, that is the review of the Honeywell Elmo FP8C Dual 8 Projector.